And that is the end result of uh, our how to build a herb garden, raised herb garden. Um, anyway, if you guys missed the first part to this, that would be the video prior to this one. Or maybe not. Anyway, a few videos ago maybe. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. We got the lattice put up there today. Um, and yes, it might not look like it's fully level, but the flower bed is level and the deck is not quite. Uh, we built the deck a few years ago and I think it's kind of settled. But anyway, that is the nature of the beast. So what we ended up doing was making the bed and then buying the lattice and that lattice is two feet by eight feet and it's screwed to the back of the herb garden and then we put a little piece of strapping uh, at the edge of the deck underneath and it is just uh, nailed on there with finishing nails and I ended up having to pre-drill pre -drill every little hole uh, because you can tell on this one here that was my first one and you can see it split so then what I ended up doing was and I put it on the joint so it had more like I didn't put it here here where it does both and uh, anyway I just drilled uh, pre-drilled a hole and then put my finishing nails in but anyway just kind of keep the dog from running underneath the deck and running across the bed uh, that way um, but turned out good she got everything planted there yesterday so it looks a little bit sad there today in the sun but it uh, it should take pretty good so and you can see all the different herbs that she's got planted so she's just got everything marked and she knows is which. Anyway, I'm going to go and take you guys out and show you something else that has to do with the old herb garden. Got the gir goat, gir got the goat herd out here doing some trimming for us. Just out here by some of the equipment. And uh, this is where we stockpile all of our hay for the winter. So the grass doesn't really grow here. Um, in order to cut it for hay, but it gets long enough that it's kind of ugly. So. Nice having the goats. So we just put them in here, what, two days ago? Yesterday. Yesterday. They can go into the swather for shade. And then I'll show you guys up here. Because it'd be a bit of a pain. Um, I mean, obviously you're not going to come up here and weed whack around everything. It'd be a heck of a lot of weed whacking. But uh, anyway, it's just nice having the grass kept low because uh, when you come up here to look for stuff, whether it be uh, boards or to hook up to a piece of machinery, um, just nice for driving around up here to be able to see so this here you can tell uh, we had the horses and the goats in here for four days. four days had to be longer than that anyway yeah the horses did eat long um, but you can see on the other side of the fence there the hay uh, and that's how thick and long the grass was in here and now you can see everything the hay rake was, all you could see was like the tips of the yellow um, the grass was so tall. That's 
another job to come up here and pick all these uh, pieces of cedar up from making the or sharpening the fence posts to push in. They keep the grass down around the firewood, uh, so when it's time to come up here and start hauling that to the house, uh, a little bit easier to find the pieces. And then we just had it fenced off kind of to a point uh, where then I can take over with the swath or cutting. Hey, and this here is our own, what? Black gold, yeah. Is our own topsoil. Um, two years ago, what we ended up doing when we were hauling manure, uh, I just backed the manure spreader up here and offloaded like four or five loads and just into a pile. Um, so by putting it through the manure spreader, it just chopped up all the little clumps of hay in that, um, mixed all the crap in with it. And then uh, because it was in a pile, it allowed it to heat and break down that much quicker. And then um, just kind of every few months, we, I come up here with the tractor um, and just use the bucket to kind of uh, just roll everything, flip it, flop it, turn it, drop it. Anyway, um, so yeah, so it makes really, really nice dirt. You can even see there's still a little bit of, a little bit of the poop. But you dig down in there and like that's nice, nice, nice dirt. Um, so anyway, that's what we put in the uh, herb garden. And the flower garden actually. It took uh, three trailer loads uh, with the four wheeler, but uh, yeah. So, anyway, if you're able to do that, if you got a manure spreader and you have a barnyard with a big pile of manure like those, um, I would say that it's very much worth taking the time and just doing it. It takes a year or two to break down and make really good soil, but, uh, and it only gets better kind of with age, right? So, um, but yeah, for doing any sort of planting it, uh, I would say it definitely pays off. You don't have to go and buy uh, bags of topsoil, which can get pretty pricey if you're doing any sort of, any size of project. But, um, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um our little herb garden project and if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh make sure you guys sub sub subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already done so and if you have oh my goodness much appreciated um make sure you guys leave us a comment as some of you may already know we are looking at changing the name of our channel uh, right now, it is called Najwan Critter Control, which I named it that uh, back before I maybe even met Jess, back when I started YouTube videos, um, and that is because, well, it was strictly trapping. I posted all trapping videos, um, so I came up with Najwan Critter Control. Which was a really good name but uh, over the years we've kind of expanded and uh, became a multi-function channel so we no longer just do the trapping videos we do trapping farming homesteading uh, hunting planting outdoor uh, videos so um, anyway Leave us a comment and let us know what you guys might think would be a good idea for a channel that would kind of cover all those uh, bases that I just listed. Um, and yeah, and we've been talking lately about doing some sort of a giveaway. Not exactly sure how we're going to do that or what we would be giving away, but um, 
yeah, we're gonna, that'll probably be coming up in the next month or so, or even a week, I don't know. But we're hoping to be doing that uh, right shortly. So, yeah, leave us a comment and let us know what you guys think. And we will talk to you guys later. Ciao.